Good morning, this is Monday, May 15th, and today's devotion is the habit of rising to the occasion. This is Ephesians 1, that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Remember that you have been saved so that the life of Jesus may be manifested within you. 2 Corinthians 4. Direct the total energy of your powers so that you may achieve everything your election as a child of God provides. Rise every time to whatever occasion may come your way. You did not do anything to achieve your salvation, but you must do something to exhibit it. Let me say it again. You didn't do anything to receive your salvation as a gift of God, but you must do something to exhibit it. Let others see it. You must work out your own salvation, which God has worked within you already. That's Philippians 2. Are your speech, your thinking, your emotions, are they evidence that you are working it out every day? If you are still the same miserable, grouchy person, set on having your own way, then it's a lie to say that God has saved and sanctified you. God is the master designer, and he allows adversities into our lives to see if we can jump over them properly. Psalm 18, by God I can leap over a wall. God will never shield you from the requirements of being a son or a daughter of his. 1 Peter 4.12 says, Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to come upon you, as though something strange has happened. Rise to that occasion. Do what the trial demands of you. It does not matter how much it hurts as long as it gives God the opportunity to man manifest the life of Jesus within our body during that time. In other words, can people see Jesus in you as you're going through a tough time? May God not find complaints in us anymore, but spiritual vitality, a readiness to face anything he brings our way. The only proper goal of life is that we manifest the Son of God. And when this occurs, all of our dictating, all of our demands to God, they'll disappear. Our Lord never dictated demands to his Father, and neither are we to make demands on God. We are here to submit to his will, so he may work through us when he wants. Once we realize this, he will make us broken bread and poured out wine to feed and nourish others. And that's the challenge I have. I've said this several times throughout the year. Oswald challenges us in our Christian walk to become broken bread and poured out wine for others. And the question I have today is, are we? If not, why not? Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you are with us in all different parts and pieces of life and that you'll always see us through. And Lord, I pray that we would manifest Christ within whatever situation we may be in today, that others may see him and glorify God. And Lord, let us indeed become broken bread and poured out wine that others may see your son. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless and I'll see you tomorrow.